song. My friend is having a Shrek themed birthday party because we are 22 year old adults and apparently this is what you do as such and I love it. Anyways, we're all supposed to dress accordingly and I thought this is perfect, I'm an arts and crafts person, I'm going to be completely extra about this. And you have to join me on my journey today. I actually put a spell on you, you literally can't leave this video right now. Which isn't true by the way, but I'm probably going to need some emotional support for this one, so please don't leave me alone. Shrek. Beloved by many, probably actually by all of humanity, I mean it really is just a stroke of creative genius. And there are so many amazing characters to choose from, but since I have red hair, the most obvious one for me to choose would be Fiona, which of course I didn't choose because I instead decided to be this freak. Don't ask me why. Now, the sane way to go about this would be to just find some brown pants, buy a vest and call it a day. But then what do I have a sewing machine for? So today I'm going to attempt to replicate Rumpelstiltchen's outfit or I'm going to steal his look as the kids would say these days. And I'm probably going to look very much insane in the end. So... Are you intrigued yet? No? Well, you're still here, so you might as well keep watching. I would probably have a mental, mental breakdown at some point, and then you can laugh at me, so... If that isn't a great offer, then I don't know what is. Little guy is singing again. By the way, while he's doing that, my haircut is non-existent anymore. And also this wonderful crochet butterfly vest is by this artist. I'm going to link the pattern in the description in case you want to make it yourself. I just made that in my free time and I love it. I'm obsessed. Okay, the plan. Now, the plan is to make the three key elements of this little guy. And those are the vest, the pants and the shoes. Originally, I didn't plan on making the shoes. But then I told my friends that I'm going to be him. And then they said that the shoes were the most important important part so I guess I have to make the shoes now I don't know how but we'll figure that one out for the vest I have this vest and I think it kind of looks similar enough so I'm going to use this to draft a sewing pattern and then make it a little less symmetrical perfect I don't know we'll see about that the pants no fucking idea but one idea was because they have these little stripes that I could just make the shape with wire because like, I, I'm only going to wear this once, so it can be as crappy as I want it to be, which is nice because I also don't have much time for this. But um, then I thought if I use wire, then I won't be able to sit down, which is bad because I get back pain from, from standing too much. That's a problem for another day. So I, I don't know about the pants yet, but I think I'm just going to start with the vest or no, with the shoes because I need to order fabric for the vest and the pants. We have a plan for the vest. We really don't have a plan for the shoes and also not for the pants, but let's try to make the shoes. I was thinking that maybe I could work with paper mesh, mad, whatever. Paper mache. So I, I thought maybe I could take shoes that I have as a base and then build like a little thing that I can put on the actual shoes out of paper mesh that will look like these things. Will that work? Probably not, but I need to try anyways. Okay, let's find some shoes and then let's actually think about this again. All right, I found some shoes that I can use as a base. These are my mom's, so let's pray I don't ruin them. I also changed my clothes because white sleeves and dangly yarn are not very ideal for crafting, but yeah. These are the shoes I'm going to use and my um, very, very smart plan is to just cover these in cling wrap and then put a layer of paper mesh on there, let it dry, and then form the shape of, of the shoes um, with paper, some tape, and maybe some hot glue and then slap some more paper mesh on that. And this is going to be the crappiest thing I've ever crafted and I love it, but I hope it works. And then I just also need to pray that it won't rain when my when my friend's birthday is because we're outside and I'm making this out of paper, so no rain. Okay, let's go upstairs and let's make some funky shoes. Lady pulls up in these steals your girl. Um, yeah, look, 
look at this. Look what I've created. Initially, I didn't want to make the shoes because I had no idea how I was going to make them. But then, as I said, my friend said they were the most important part. So I thought, okay, now I have to. And I did. And this is... <laughs> what the hell? This is what came out of that. They're not entirely finished yet. I still want to do the like gold thingy, this one. But I'm going to do that when my fabric arrives because I'm going to use the fabric for the, yes, um, words. Never mind. But it worked. I now have the most cursed shoes ever. And while I was making them, I was kind of thinking like, okay, imagine imagine i'm going to become a cosplayer now and um i think that the cosplay community would like welcome me with open arms but only to then disown me because what is this i don't know the cosplay community is probably very nice i don't know but i just thought okay imagine i started my cosplay era with this <laughs> this is what i'm doing with my life all right um shoes check the the hardest part is done just some details left that's nice okay next up the vest and the pants i have no idea how to make normal pants and even less of an idea how i'm going to make those and also my fabric isn't here yet because i ordered it but i accidentally didn't complete the order and only realized that days later so then i had to order it again but now it's on its way but it's not here yet and i'm kind of stressed because the birthday is in a few days but we can prepare i'm going to draft up some some patterns now for the vest as i said before i'm going to use a vest that i have and I'm just going to change it up a bit to, to make it look less good. To make it look like this little freak made it. He probably doesn't make his clothes by himself, but yeah, you know what I mean. And I think the rest is, I can do that. I already want to apologize to all the people who have a sewing machine and know what they're doing. Um, what you're about to see is going to be very bad and I'm not very good at sewing, but like I can do better than what I'm about to do, but I also don't have time and this is only for costumes, so I'm not going to put the most effort in it. But um, yeah, and then the pants, I still don't have an idea, but I guess we now have to come up with one. Okay, so my fabric that I ordered didn't arrive because my package somehow ended up in Poland. I do not live in Poland. So now I had to drive to a fabric store and pray that they have what I was looking for. And they did, kind of. So it's fine. I got this nice fake leather. This is for the vest. And then this is for, for the pants. So it's all good. But like, the postal service. What happened? How? I don't know, um, but okay, I got some fabric, it's fine. The pattern for the vest is done and I tried to make a pattern for the pants and I used one of my pants as a reference, kind of, but I, I, I couldn't figure out how trousers work. I don't get it. So I just bought a pattern for white pants and then I'm going to change it a bit and pray that it kind of looks like what I'm going for. Now we finally get everything we need. It's time to start sewing. Let's go. My microphone cord is way too tangled to put this on my t-shirt because then my camera will fall off of my non-existing tripod because I don't know where the tripod is right now. So it's just on a bunch of boxes. And um, yes, hello. I have all the pieces assembled. We got the pants, we got the vest. I got a blouse that I bo borrowed from my mom. I got some... some some of these. I bought pointy ears and fake eyebrows. Oh, and I made a little scarf. <laughs> so now it's time to put all of it on and to look absolutely insane. Who's ready for that? I'm not. Let's go. 
Welcome to this very scuffed review slash outro because few things. First of all, let's be, let's be real friends. I am not going to go into my garden looking like this to film an actual reveal because um, I don't really care what people think of me, but um, there's still room for improvement. I still care a little bit and imagine my neighbors would see me like this and then I'd have to see, the, see them like every other day after that. I don't want to do that, I'm sorry, but before you leave, I have some pictures from you because the second thing is, I already went to the birthday, it was a few days ago, I just, um, I'm filming this afterwards, so that's also why I don't have fake eyebrows on right now and I don't have my little mutton chops because it doesn't stick to my face anymore, but I have some pictures in a minute, we also have to talk about them, also I, I say I don't want my neighbors to see me like this, but then I also went to a birthday like this and I'm posting it on the internet for thousands of people to see, so that's great, okay, um, costume. I love it. I think I'm the most proud of these shoes. Also, this was sitting in a bag for like a few days, so now it's very crinkly and stuff. Um, we'll get to the pictures where you can see it in full. Actually, let's do that first because my friend, not the one whose birthday it was, but another friend, made a life-sized Shrek paper cutout for that birthday. She cut it out and hand painted it and then we put it up in the garden and that was awesome and you could take little pictures with it. And that's what I did. So here you go. This is the reveal. This is how I looked and it was awesome. I kind of feel like I found my true form. I don't know what was going on with me that day. I didn't only just look like a goblin, I also acted like one. And I didn't even do that on purpose. I think th it's just this outfit kind of channeled my real me. And um, <laughs> I was a bit, um, I think I got possessed. But also I think that was just um, how I actually am. And it was a lot of fun. I also printed out these over for a day contracts that I handed out to my friends and uh, some of them signed them. So now I have my friend's signatures. So now I can use my friend's signatures to sh sign some shady contracts, which I'm not going to do because that will be illegal. But I do have my friend's signatures now. They shouldn't have done that. I'm kidding. But that was also fun. That was a fun little gimmick. I had so much fun that day. I went a little bit insane. I also looked a little bit insane, but um, isn't that what we should all strive for? I think so. The paper cutout was, that was amazing. I love that. Uh, final thoughts, the best. All right, pants, um, not how I m imagined they would turn out, but I think they, they worked out very well, especially, I, I, like, I think you can you could tell who I was supposed to be, especially at, like, a Shrek-themed birthday, so that's nice. I'm really glad I got this done in time, which at some point I didn't think I would, but I did. I, I really like how, how this turned out. I'm never going to wear this again, but it was fun. I had a lot of fun sewing again. I don't sew that much, and when I do, I kind of use it more for stuff like this than for, like, actual things that would make sense to make. But maybe I will do that now because it's always fun. I like it. I just don't do it very much. That's my favorite part of the costume. I think I really did something here. Maybe I should become a designer and I'm going to sell shoes like this. It was kind of sometimes a bit difficult to walk in these and I also sometimes was afraid that I was going to stab someone but then again maybe you could also ju then just use this as a weapon in a video game because violence is bad see okay it's happening again i put this thing on and my brain just turns into goblin mode okay scratch what i just said scratch the idea of not wearing this again i'm just i'm just going to wear this every day from from now on and then i'm going to end up in a mental hospital all right this is the outfit here's another picture of me with shrek tell me what you think tell me if you're still subscribed to this channel after this video because i won't blame you if not but also um if you are great it's nice to know that i'm not the only insane person out there got some more fun stuff planned i know there haven't been lots of videos um lately but i'm currently working on a few other things so i don't have as much time for these videos as before but they are still coming don't worry i love making these videos i love making silly little crafts i love to share them with you i'm not going anywhere just maybe for the next few months there will be maybe fewer videos than like in the beginning of the year but that doesn't mean that i'm not having fun anymore i am making these videos and sharing them with you is always one of my favorite parts of the day the week the month the year my life not that dramatic i just like making them so don't worry i'm not going anywhere i'm here got some more fun crafts planned and uh, tell me how your real self looks like because mine really apparently does look like this this is my true form whenever i've looked in the mirror before i just didn't feel like it was myself but when i look in the mirror looking like this
I feel completely at ease. Okay, uh, enough of that. I hope you had fun and I'll be back. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Love you guys and I will see you again next video. Also looking like this. No, I'm not. Okay, it's, it's time. I need to turn this thing off because I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Goodbye. Love you.